Hey what's up everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Liftoff on your mic and how to use the DJI controller on Liftoff so you can use it and so you can practice better and I'm going to show you how to calibrate it, how to connect it properly to your mic because it's not just plug in and install it, um, you have to do a couple steps so I'm going to show you that. If you already know how to install Liftoff or if you already have it and all you need to know is how to install your controller to the mic so you can use it in the game lift up you can go ahead and skip to the next step and let's go ahead and start it we installing how to install or where to get it from the lift up app and i'm about to show you that so the first thing that you need to do is go to the online and go to the steam website and from there you're gonna have to install the application or the software from them um, it's free to install it but you do have to buy the uh, the game uh, so go ahead and let's install the app if you don't know how to install an application in, in the Mac and this is your first time doing something like this it's really easy once you don't have the file open the file then you're gonna have this window here so all you have to do is pretty much grab this one hold it and move it to the application folder once that is done you're gonna go to your application folders and you're gonna go look for the steam game so here it created the games folder um, it automatically did it. You might have used this icon. Um, it, it based on the system and how you make those all that. But anyway, so you're gonna, gonna go here, open it. You're gonna open the application. You're gonna wait for it to. You're gonna have to wait to finish downloading, installing. Okay. Once it's finished installing, it's gonna be popping like this, pretty much letting you know that it's ready. And for you to click on it and open it so let's go ahead and do that I already have a um, created an account before so go ahead and click in uh, if you don't have an account go ahead and sign up for one you can create a free account here if not if you already have one you can go ahead and uh, put your credentials and sign in once you log in you're gonna go look into the um, into the game um i already bought the game before so you can go ahead and it's not free it's ten dollars i bought it i bought it for ten dollars i believe it was a special offer but i think it's uh around twenty dollars regular price if not it might be 20. so here on the search bar we're gonna go look for lift off like i said i already have it um it doesn't show me the how much it is now but it pretty much show you when I play it, the space required and all that. They do have DLCs, um, so you can have more st stages you can play on. But here's the original one, is good enough. So we're gonna go here with the um, with the original game, we don't have to buy no additional stuff. So here is all you need, the requirement for this space. And this is what I have, so that's not a problem for me. So, but if you don't, if you have, Make sure you have enough memory for this uh, for the game so you can install so now it's done installing the game so let's wait for it to download and then we can play it so now that the game is installed we can go ahead and open it you see it says play here and also it's going to create um, an application so you can go straight here um, so you don't have to go into Steam, um, you can just go ahead and click after you close it and all that. So let's go ahead and uh, open it. So we're going to open it from here so, now so, you can sh so you can see. Now for what kind of system you need in order to play it good. I used to have um, an Intel Mac, it was a 2017-18, that one I could run it but it was a little bit laggy it wasn't terrible um i could still play it but um now i have the m1 pro max or max pro i can't remember which one it is. i know it's the, the highest one so i should have a problem uh, playing it and especially now that recording it uses a lot more power so let's see how this one plays with the new with the new computer because with the other one I did I didn't play it that much because of one of the reasons 
So right now let's go go ahead and do this one like language and all that. We're gonna skip this right now because I wanna do the how to install the controller once you already have the game where to go from. So let's keep this for now. We're gonna go back to that one later. Since you play in the simulator, uh, we're gonna assume that you're a new pilot. If you're not, uh, we're gonna click advance, I guess. Uh, but for this one, we're gonna click a uh, new pilot. So here, pretty much show you what is what is the difference when you click on it. So we're gonna put apply. Next. Uh, we're gonna complete. Go done. So once you get into the game, um, or you already had the game, we're gonna go program the DJI controller so you can use it, okay? One of the problems that everybody had, including me, it was hard for me to figure out why the controller, it wouldn't work into the Mac. It was because I was plugging it in into the computer, USB-C to USB-C, and you cannot do that. If you do that for some reason, I don't know why it doesn't make sense, but it won't read it. So the way you gotta do it is you gotta have a USB-C to a USB, a regular USB, and then you have to have a dongle. This is the Mac dongle, the Apple dongle. So I don't know if those, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't matter if you have an aftermarket one, the one with, comes with a lot of them or a different brand. But this is the one that I have. If you have a different type of dongle and if it doesn't work, it doesn't read it, more likely it is this, the adapter that connects to your computer and the USB. If you're using the original core, that came with the controller okay so apparently the wire that you're using it doesn't matter trying to connect it to the computer and so your computer can read it okay so right now we're gonna plug it into the computer and i'm gonna show you step by step to calibrate the controller so let's go ahead and connect it um right now we connect it to the computer so we're gonna go to options and then we're gonna go to controllers uh, we're gonna go controller now we're gonna switch the controller to on the controller is on even here on the um, on the lift of software it says number two make sure you have the right cable and don't go off your specific remote so I'm pretty sure they have the same problems they seen it before so now you see automatically the test this really fast once you allow your computer to to do it so now what we're gonna do once it read it um you see my control is already here but if i move it here around it won't it won't do anything so what we need to do is go here to calibrate and here we're gonna go start calibration and we pretty much uh we had to do all this like it's showing in the screen so it's pretty much just gonna tell you step by step of what to do and you have to like put it back um you see it's pretty much telling you put it center and it's gonna tell you like what to press if you press it it's gonna tell you okay uh really simple really simple uh you see finish calibration uh test your control before you save it here you can retry it you can save it or you can fine tune it uh so what we're gonna do now is move the right stick a little bit and you can see it does move the uh remote on the screen and actually moves the drone so it's pretty cool uh so you see i barely touch it and it does it does react really quick to it so the right side of the stick uh it seems to be fine so now let's try the um left one to see if i can get any response it does get like really good response uh left right so here we're pretty much good so now we're gonna go to save really simple really fast i'm gonna click ok now we're gonna exit it by the way the game is working fine like really good right now on this computer um the computer is really it's getting hot i heard the fan turn it on but it's nothing bad um you should know that it's working hard the computer's working hard but to keep it up the one the reason it's probably getting warmer than it should is because i'm actually screen recording so it's doing multiple things at once um and i also have this external display to plug in so i'm not overworking the computer but 
I'm giving it a lot to handle. So here we're gonna go to um, we're gonna do a quick trial. Uh, we're gonna put random. So here on the bottom of the middle of the screen, it actually show you your position of the controller. So um, if you're not, you can tell if you need to recalibrate it. If your stick is all the way down and it's really in a, like a little bit too high, uh, that might be issue that you need to calibrate it. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, keep in mind that I'm not good at this. Um, I've been having this FPB for a while, but <laughs> I'm still having practice good enough to be good at it. So let's try the quick one to see how it runs on the Mac. It will, um, to see how it runs on the Mac. And to let you know that it runs pretty good on the um, on the um, oh my god well good news is it's run it's running really good um, it's not lagging at all it's running pretty smooth oh my god this is so different compared to the uh, DJI simulator as you can tell I'm not good at it but um, you get the idea that you can play it off Yeah, I've been a while so you can tell I'm not a little I'm crashing everywhere um, I had time I do want to get into it again and get better at it um, as you can see um, um, it's not bad for the you can see I guess you can tell that I have a little bit of experience because the first time you ever run do this you're gonna be all over the place just so you know um, it does take a, a lot of hours for you to learn this so I hope this video helped you out if you like this video and it did help you out make sure to like it if you have any question and there's something that you don't understand about it uh, let me know in the comments and I'm more than gladly willing to help you out um, so thanks for watching